one man who understands better than most the need for a new source of donor organs is pioneering transplant surgeon Robert Montgomery. Both his father and brother died of a genetic heart disease that he has also inherited. In 2018, following a series of cardiac arrests, Robert underwent heart transplant surgery. The fact that I'm a recipient of a heart transplant and have a chronic disease, and the fact that you know I have children who have inherited the same disease, it's a major driving force trying to solve this problem of organ availability because it could directly influence family members and my children in the future. The vast majority of patients on America's waiting lists are in need of a kidney transplant. People who receive a kidney transplant, um, as opposed to those who remain on dialysis, on average live twice as long. Unfortunately, there just aren't enough organs. In October 2021, Dr. Montgomery and his team attached a pig kidney to a human body. So the, the immune system, you know, has the ability to recognize self and non-self. And anything that's non-self is viewed um, as an invader. And the immune system responds to that. To avoid rejection, the kidney was sourced from a pig whose genes had been altered so that its tissues no longer contained a sugar molecule known to trigger the human immune system. We're testing these pig organs in a study on people who have been declared brain dead um, and have donated their body for the purpose of this study. This has allowed the team to more closely observe how a human body reacts to a pig kidney before they carry out the operation in a living patient. This is not the normal place where we um, generally put a transplant that's usually inside the abdomen down in the pelvis. And we want to be able to um, view the kidney, make sure that there's not really aggressive rejection happening, which would make it look discolored and black. The trial is a success. The pig kidney hasn't triggered an immune response and is processing the body's urine normally. We know now, based on these studies that we've done, that it's not going to immediately be rejected and it's going to be compatible and function like a human kidney. That's an important piece of information that I think will give us the confidence now to move to the first in living human trials.